All right, what we have to do here is write an equation in slope-intercept form that represents this line shown. Now remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Now the m variable in our formula just represents the slope of our line, and b represents where our line crosses the y-axis. That's why we call b the y-intercept. So what we have to do is figure out what m is equal to, and we have to figure out what b is equal to. And what we're going to do is start with the value of b. Now, if we follow our line all the way until we hit the y-axis, we can see that it crosses at negative 3. So the value of b is negative 3. All right, now, before figuring out what the slope of this line is, what we should notice is that our line is going downwards from left to right, which means our slope is going to have a negative value. So what we're going to do first is just plot points directly on this line that have integer values. For example, we can see that we can put a point right here on our line, which has an x value of negative 8 and a y value of positive 9. And then we can see that we have a point right here, which have the coordinates negative 6, positive 6. And we have another point right here, which is at negative 4 and positive 3. All right, now that we've plotted some points, what we're going to do is, because our slope is negative, we're going to start by going downwards. We have a rise that is a negative rise. So from this point to our next point, we would drop 3, and then we have a run of positive 2. So we can see that we're going down 3 and over 2, which means our slope is negative 3 over 2. So what we do now is we take our slope and just plug it into the equation. So what we do is we substitute m with negative 3 halves x, and then we substitute b with negative 3. And this is the equation that represents this line in slope-intercept form.